Kwa wiki sasa shule hii ya sekondari ya wavulana ya Kwina simekuwa katika vyombo vya habari usimamizi wa shule hiyo ukidaiwa kujaribu kutuplia mbali madai ya kulawitiwa kwa mwanafunzi. Wanafunzi huyo wa kidato cha kwanza kidaiwa kutekelezewa maadhila hayo mnamo mwezi Januari tarehe 30 mwaka huu kulingana na mama mzazi wa mwanafunzi huyo akigubikwa na uchungu. All I have to say is that there's a God in heaven. And there's a god of justice. Huko akitaja haki kwa mwanawe ikionekana kujitokota. So I spoke to him for quite some time and eventually at around 10:30 p.m. that is when he agreed to open up to me and tell me what happened to him. And it's very sad. It happened on Sunday on Sunday night in his cubicle. And then on Monday he took an overdose. Hata hivyo usimamizi wa shule hiyo ulikuwa na haya kusema dhidi ya madai yanayoandama. At least he could have whispered to a friend. A friend just that. Or even the class teacher. So that we are coming to know about it from there. Unfortunately from the parents. In fact, maybe getting reports from the Ministry of TSC. I'm just giving you a brief so that you can understand about the the situation. So I'm not there to judge myself, but that is the position and we are doing our best to make sure that we get to the bottom of the issue. Oh, I'm not against homosexual, but if it if you are going to move like the ones we have found from moving from 1 2 3 4 beds. Those ones we have proclaimed that they shall be day scholars. That will put them closer to their parents who I think have the first responsibility to talk to them. Nam ni takriban kama siku kumi tangu kujiri kwa kudaiwa kwa kesi ya kubakwa kwa mwanafunzi wa kiume ikiwa ni katika shule hii ya Aquinas hapa jijini Nairobi hata hivyo kilichosalia kwa sasa ni polisi kuvuta kamba kwa upande wao na kuanzisha uchunguzi kuthibitisha tuhma hiyo Mila Kisenya Runinga ya K24 Nairobi